to Grandpa. To Grandpa. To Grandpa. Okay. So, who do we pick on first? Oh, that's easy. Ah. Hmm. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, listen, guys. I have. Believe me, nothing interesting to say. Ah, uh, uh, no, 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 Joey. That's not going to work with this group. That's right. She's right. We want to hear all about your love life, so spill it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hello. Hello. Can anybody hear me? We're locked in here. Someone, open this door right now. Why is this happening to me? To you? I'm the one who's claustrophobic. Yeah, right on cue. And what is that supposed to mean? Oh, Dorian, come on. We've been over this routine countless times. It's like some sort of cosmic joke by now. We get stuck somewhere together, we fight like cats and dogs, and then somebody rescues us. I don't know about you, but I find this very old. There is nothing left to fight about. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Of what? Maybe. Maybe this was supposed to happen. Maybe the universe meant for us to have it out once and for all. Actually, I think the universe has more important things to do than to set up yet another pointless grudge match between us. Pointless? Hmm. I'm not so sure it's pointless. I, how can you be so certain that we don't have something really important to discuss? Well, the thing is, I don't want to discuss anything with you. My children are upstairs, two of whom I never get to see. And their grandfather just died. I should be spending today with them, not you. Hello, hello! You're not my favorite person either. But there really is something very important that I need to say to you. Oh, I doubt it. You better hear me out, Victoria, because I've kept this to myself far too long. Six. I really don't care about what goes on between you and Clint, and I wish to hell you would leave me out of it. This has nothing to do with Clint. This is about your father, Victor. Victor? Dorian, we've covered that subject ad nauseum. But we haven't covered the fact that I'm the one who killed him. And I'm just trying to pick them all up. She throws a drink in my face, and I'm not sure what she's screaming at me, but by the looks of the people around us, it wasn't good. It was not the, you know, the love connection. You're, you're, no, 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 you're making it up. You're yeah. making it no, up. No, Ke Kevin, back me up. Mm. I was there, I was there. And if Zane wasn't saying Kelly would be here to vouch for the fact that we tried to stop the insanity, but we were just <laughs> laughing too hard. Yeah. Oh, you are truly terribly pathetic. <laughs> well, at least he tried. Well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's Kevin's pathetic. Easy, yeah, it is pathetic. Easy there. Oh. Tell me, I would like to hear a little bit about your love life. <laughs> well, what about it? I am a very happy newlywed, and I have a gorgeous husband and a beautiful but fussy daughter that mm -hmm. my husband is understanding enough to take care of so I can hang out with you guys. Oh, that's, that's a nice try, <laughs> but what about your love life? <laughs> uh, let's just say it was a long time coming, and next. All right. Okay, okay, new topic. What do we all think about dad dating Dorian Lord? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Oh. What? Bad subject? Uh, I don't know. Ask Dustin Hoffman over here. Huh? <laughs> You didn't know that Dorian and Joey were an item back in the day? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I think I blocked that out, like the memory of a car accident. Uh, it wasn't like that. Uh, yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Are you insane? No. You cornered that market a long time ago. Think about it. Why would I lie? Why would you lie? Oh, I can think of about a million reasons right off the top of my head. Name one. I am not having this conversation with you. You know, I would think that you'd be thrilled that I'm letting you off the hook. I don't want to be let off the hook, okay? I accepted a long time ago that I murdered my father. Except you didn't. I did. I 
Actually, Dorian, neither one of us did. You can't have forgotten his triumphant return from the grave a few years ago. If it really was him. Oh, for heaven's sakes! You know, I know that everything in your life is a competition, but I cannot believe you seriously expect me to argue over who killed Victor and that you want to win! You want to rehash Victor, you go right ahead. You're on your own. I want no part of it. I refuse to define my life by how it relates to yours. Oh? And how do you define your life? Excuse me? We've just been to Ace's funeral. We've heard uh, speeches, eulogies. We, we, we've heard all about his dreams, hopes, and accomplishments. A virtual tour of what defined that man's life. So I'm asking you again, what defines yours, Vicky? Because from where I'm standing, it looks pretty damn empty to me.